What is up, my gaming brothers and sisters? I am your host, the Honorable Exhibitor Gamer. So today we are going to talk about a lot of things. So on this episode of The Talk, we are bringing you the collector's edition of Spider-Man PS4. So let's jump right into this. So as you can see in the image, which I found on Google, wasn't that high quality of, a, of an image, so bear with me for that one. I'm sorry for that. So, what we're going to talk about is the contents, and then we're going to give a few, I want to say predictions. So let's do that. Okay, first thing, as you can see, comes with the full game, a custom steel book, a white spider sticker, i.e., you know, the Spider-Man logo that's on Spider-Man's chest, we all see that. A mini art book now that contains unique early look concepts and unreleased artwork. And, here's the key part, wait for it now, it comes with the Marvel Spider-Man statue, which was made by Gentle Giant. Now, if you don't know Gentle Giant, they are a art company that have that make a very good amount of bread when it comes to making pop art characters and I can attest to that shit very well so the statue is basically spider-man as you can see in the image here standing on what I believe is the raft which is got yellow tape around it this that and third and it's actually very well impressive I will not lie to you about that and if I do get a chance, I already pre-ordered Spider-Man PS4, but if I do get another opportunity to buy the Spider-Man PS4 Collector Edition, best believe I will. Anyway, up next, we got DLC. Marvel Spider-Man DLC includes The City That Never Sleep, which consists of three post-launch story chapters featuring new characters and mission. Users will receive DLC by March of 2K19. So... We all know that DLCs for PS4 are a thing. They make us wonder what the what is really good. Now, I'm not going to really, you know, want to go into that, but we're going to do that at the end of the video. But since we, well, yeah, we pretty much just covered everything. That wasn't really much to cover about, but now it's time for the prediction bullshit. Now, on to the city that never sleep, which consists of three post-launch games. I mean, stories, I'm sorry. We already know that in the very first trailer of Spider-Man PS4, Miles Morales was teased. Now, if that ain't a, if that ain't an homage to the fact that Ultimate Spider-Man is in fact a thing, Ultimate Spider-Man is getting his own movie this year, and then turning around that they've been teasing Ultimate Spider-Man for the MCU, we're just gonna accept the fact that this is a thing. Now, in terms of villains, I'm very well accepting of the fact that. I'm not really, really hip to these characters currently. I can't even actually remember their name currently, but I can understand that they're 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 bringing they're, what they're doing with it. Insomniac is bringing lesser known Spider-Man villains as well as better known. So what I personally will expect with Miles Morales, I would honestly expect to see Venom, and considering. The current Spider-Man and Ultimate Spider-Man are now both in Earth-616 since the destruction of Earth-1610 in the comics. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw, you know, Peter Parker and Miles Morales team up one time or, you know, Miles do his thing while Spider-Man oversees and shit like that. But seeing those two go up against Venom or Carnage, I'm honestly willing to bet that that's my, that, that right there is, that, that's the key point right there. And in terms of early concepts, I'm definitely going to go ahead and make this assumption that they probably are going to bring up the original Spider-Man suit because according to them, just like the DLC says, they're including Iron, Sp Iron Spider from Infinity War, including Spider-Punk and one unannounced Spider-DLC costume that they'll announce, I guess they said sometime in June, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, don't at me. But, with that being said, I can expect them to probably go down the road of how they, how they really came to the conclusion of the current Spider-Man design that they have, and I really think, by the looks of it, I'm not even going to lie, they, the current Spider-Man that they, that they have that was finalized, I can tell they definitely paid attention to the original Spider-Man suit, 
the Tom Holland Spider-Man suit, and wait for it now, the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. Now, see, they they actually went down the road and they actually wanted to, you know, put these together and see how they was going to go about that. And now, what's dope about that is the fact that the final result is what's dope about that. Now, as it says here, clearly you guys can see the screenshot, so I'm not lying about this. It says users will not get DLC until March of 2019. I don't know what to expect with that, but I would hope that it's not, you know, bad. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you as hyped for Spider-Man PS4 as I am? Let me know with them in the comments. Strike that like that like button with a spider web and subscribe to me. I would love that shit. Thank you guys for watching.